Recent floods have left many cars damaged and up for sale at suspiciously low prices. But is buying a flooded car a bargain or a disaster waiting to happen? Let's find out, flooded cars can suffer catastrophic damage, especially if they've been driven in deep water. The engine may fail as it tries to compress water instead of fuel, leading to expensive repairs. The electronics that control the engine can also be damaged, causing further issues. The braking system, suspension, and exhaust's catalytic converter can all be fatally damaged as well. Even if a car has sat in flood water, the interior is likely to have suffered. Drying out a flooded car is a big job that requires stripping out the seats, carpets, and sound deadening material. Even then, there could be lingering problems with the electrics, such as locks not working or windows going up and down on their own. So how can you tell if a car has been flood damaged? One telltale sign is a musty smell when you open the door. Check the carpet under the seats for dampness, as it's difficult to dry this area without completely removing the car's interior. Look for steamed up windows, as flooded cars often have moisture inside. Test all the electrics, including windows, the sound system, wipers, and lights. And don't forget to inspect the air filter and oil filler cap for signs of water damage. If you're considering buying a flood-damaged car, be cautious. Some salvage companies sell cars that have been written off by insurers, but there are also unscrupulous sellers who may not disclose the damage. Always do a history check to see if the car has been written off by an insurance company. However, keep in mind that a history check won't reveal if a car has been flooded but not subject to an insurance claim. Returning a flood-damaged car to the road depends on how it's been categorized as a write-off. Some cars can't legally be returned to the road, while others with non-structural damage can be repaired and put back on the road. But even if a car can be repaired, there may be hidden damage that could cause problems down the line. There are a few valid reasons for buying a flood-damaged car, such as having the technical expertise and resources to dry it out and put it back on the road. Alternatively, you might buy it for spare parts to use in a similar model. Just make sure you know what you're getting into. In conclusion, buying a flood-damaged car can be a risky proposition. The potential for expensive repairs and ongoing issues is high. While there may be bargains to be found, it's important to do your due diligence and thoroughly inspect any car you're considering buying. And always remember, if a deal seems too good to be true, it probably is.